Welcome to the math section. Before we get started, let me tell you a little personal story. Junior year of high school, I actually started working at a coffee shop in the summer. And I remember walking in and thinking, huh, it's probably not too hard to make a bunch of people some coffee, right? Huh? No, it was hard. You know those people with those personalized beverage choices? You know who you are. Things like, you know, can you make this fat free? Oh my gosh, this needs to be skim and, oh, it's not skim enough. Do they make this in organic? Oh, can I take out all the ingredients in this drink and still keep it the same drink? Et cetera, et cetera. More whip, this and that. And I remember thinking, oh my God, it was so overwhelming. All the different stuff involved. But you know what? After a couple of days, I got it down. I knew exactly what to expect. I knew exactly what to do. I was calm. I was relaxed and I did a great job. The math section is exactly like this. We're gonna go over a lot of the concepts today briefly and you're gonna look at them and think, oh my God, that's a lot. There's a lot that's tested on the math, but don't get overwhelmed. In this, in this course, we're gonna go over all the strategies and all the concepts that you need and you're gonna do a great job on the math section on test day. Remember, it's really important to know the instructions ahead of time so you don't waste time reading them on test day. So let's take a look. Instructions for the math. After solving each problem, pick the correct answer from the five given, five answer choices here, and fill in the corresponding oval on your answer sheet. Solve as many problems as you can in the time allowed. Do not worry over problems that take too much time. Skip them if necessary. Return to them if you have time. Calculator use is permitted on the test. Calculators can be used for any problem on the test, though calculators may be more harm than help for some questions. Some notes. Unless otherwise stated on the test, you should assume the following. First, figures accompanying questions are not drawn to scale, meaning when you have a question with a, a diagram attached to it, they're telling you it might be longer, shorter, or bigger, or smaller than it looks like. Not drawn to scale. Next. Geometric figures exist in a plane. Nothing funky here. It's going to look like high school math. When given in a question, line refers to a straight line. And when given in a question, average refers to the arithmetic mean. So a mean is the same thing as average. So that's instructions. Let's take a look at the format. Five multiple choice answers instead of four. Remember, the other sections have four answers attached to them. On the math, there are five. Also, 60 questions and 60 minutes to answer the questions. Kind of cool. This is actually the longest you'll have to answer a question on the ACT. A minute per question. Great. Let's look at the question types that you'll see. There's two types. First, a really basic problem. Very straightforward, like this. Simple algebra, and we'll tackle these actual problems later. But just to see what they look like. If, you know, 5x plus 323, what's 12x minus 10? Not a lot of words, straightforward, simple math problem. Then you've got word problems. These are wordy. That's why they're word problems. Don't worry, we've got great strategies for these. But you see a bunch of words, and then again, your five answer choices. And that's it. Those are the two styles of questions that you're going to see. Let's talk about the topics that you're going to see on the math ACG. It's going to look like a lot as you go through it, and you might be feeling a little overwhelmed, but don't worry. A couple things you need to know. First of all, this is all stuff you reviewed in high school. So it should seem really familiar to you, and we're going to review the top concepts that you'll need.